Jeremiah 39. And it came to pass when Jerusalem was taken. So for 38 chapters, <clears throat> we basically had the warning that this was going to happen. And the Lord was there. He put forth what he wanted. People refused, wouldn't listen, wouldn't hearken. Came to pass when, Jer when Jerusalem was taken in the ninth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the tenth month came Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and all his army against Jerusalem and besieged it. In the eleventh year of Zedekiah, in the fourth month, the ninth day of the month, the breach was made in the city. So he came in the ninth year in the tenth month. And in the eleventh year in the fourth month, so that's a year and a half, that city was under siege. That all the princes of the king of Babylon came in and sat in the middle gate, to wit, Nergal Sherazar, Samgar Nebo, Sarsakim, Rabsiris, Nergal Sherazar, Rabmag, with all the rest of the princes of the king of Babylon. And it came to pass that when Zedekiah the king of Judah and all the men of war saw them, that they fled and went forth out of the city by night, by way of the king's garden, through the gate, betwixt the two walls, and he went out toward the Arabah. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued after them and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho. When they had taken him, they brought him up to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, to Riblah in the land of Hamath, and he gave judgment upon him. Then the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah in Riblah before his eyes. Also the king of Babylon slew all the nobles of Judah. Now if we go back just one chapter, Jeremiah was pleading with him to surrender. A chapter later, he gets to watch his sons be killed and all the nobles of Judah moreover he put out Zedekiah's eyes and bound him in fetters to carry him to Babylon so the last thing he saw was somebody was his kids and his nobles being put to death because he was worried about what the Jews would do to him the Jews that had gone over to the Chaldeans. The ones who had gone into exile to start with. <clears throat> and the Chaldeans burn, and the Chaldeans burn the king's house and the houses of the people with fire and break down the walls of Jerusalem. The Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away the captive into Babylon. The residue of the people that remained in the in the city, the deserters also f that fell away to him. <laughs> Let me start over. Then Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive into Babylon the residue of the people that remained in the city. The deserters also that fell away to him and the residue of the people that remained. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left the poor of the people that had nothing. They had nothing in the land of Judah and gave them vineyards and fields at the same time. Now Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon gave charge concerning Jeremiah to Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, saying, Take him and look well to him and do him no harm, but do unto him even as he shall say unto thee. So, isn't it interesting, the king watched his children be killed, his nobles, got his eyes put out, went to Babylon, and Jeremiah, who they were trying to shut up because he was giving God's message, is the one who made it through this time. So Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard, sent Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, 
Rab Saris and Nurgul Sharazar, Rab Mag, and all the chief officers of the king of Babylon. They sent and took Jeremiah out of the court of the guard and committed him unto Jedalia. Gedalia, son of Ahikam, the son of Shaphan, that he should carry him home, so he dwelt among the people. Now the word of Jehovah came unto Jeremiah while he was shut up in the court of the guard, saying, Go and speak to Ebed-Melech, the Ethiopian, saying, Thus saith Jehovah of hosts, the God of Israel, Behold, I will bring my words upon this city for evil and not for good, and they shall be accomplished before thee in that day. But I will deliver thee in that day, saith Jehovah, and thou shalt be given into the hand of the men of whom thou shalt not be given in, un, into the hand of the men of whom thou art afraid. For I will surely save thee, and thou shalt not fall by the sword, but thy life shall be for, thy, for a prey unto thee, because thou hast put thy trust in me, saith Jehovah. So if you trust in men... You trust in things not of God. You die. You trust in the Lord. You have a relationship with Him. You live. It's your choice. It's your choice. Ebed Melech's the one who pulled him out of the well. He went to the king and said, Hey, these men have done wrong. So there was some risk in doing that. But the Lord honored that. And he kept his life as well. Lord, whatever we have to go through, we are ready. Jonah prophesied. Jonah said 40 days till the fall of Nineveh. That fall never happened. They repented. Isaiah, first 39 chapters, leads up to fall. Jeremiah, first 39 chapters, leads up to the fall that did happen fall of Jerusalem and Lord this world is going to fall this fallen world is going to be remade you are going to come and establish your rule and we long for that Lord we long for you to come establish your rule to put forth your ways and enjoy and we will enjoy being in your kingdom we long for that day Lord in Jesus name Amen